Good morning, Center Two. Turn with me to page 113, 113 in our spelling workout level D. Page 113. You can pause the video if you need more time to get your spelling book. Okay, if you're playing the video now, it means you have your book. We're going to be looking at possessive and contractions. Now, we know that possessive nouns show ownership, like if we want to say Emilio has a ball, we can say Emilio, apostrophe S, Emilio's ball. We also know about contractions. If we want to say we are, we can put W-E, apostrophe R-E, which, which we will say as we're, but it means we are. We're going to be seeing a lot of contractions in this reading. We're also going to be looking at grand designs. So the first question says, what is a geoglyph? Do you know what it is? I have a picture of one up. Let's read. Grand designs. Let's imagine that we are flying high over the desert of South Peru. Looking toward the ground, we see giant drawings covering the desert floor. Let's pause there. Here I have a picture of an actual drawing in Peru. As you can see, it looks a little bit like maybe an animal. And the cool thing is, these are still in Peru at the moment. And you can only see these geoglyphs when you're really, really far up high in the sky. If you're close to it, you would just see lines. You wouldn't be able to understand what it is. Let's continue. We're looking at what we call the Nazca lines. The shapes these lines create can only be seen from the ear. One of the largest drawings is that of a monkey that reminds us of a child's drawing. No child drew this though. The monkey is 350 feet long. How is it possible? If you look at the picture in her book, you would see that drawing of a large monkey. Could you imagine being 350 feet long? That is very, very long. Now it also tells us that these drawings are called Nazca lines. Well, what are the Nazcas or who are the Nazcas? So the Nazcas are people that lived 100 BC, which means years and years and years ago. And as a part of their culture, they used to draw lines of different images in the sand. Um, but their lines were very, very large. It would take up a large piece of, you know, land. And you can only see the full drawing once you're really high up in the sky. If you're very close to it, you would not be able to make out what it is. Let's continue. These pictures in the sand called geoglyphs were made by the Nazca people about 1,000 to 200,000 years ago. Geoglyphs also exist in Arizona's desert and in other places around the world. They are made by moving the desert's dark stones to reveal the lighter soil underneath. The Nazca lines include pictures of many kinds of plants and animals. There is a 150-foot spider, a 165-foot hummingbird, and a pelican that's over 900 feet long. There are also flowers, a person's hand, and different geometric shapes. So I found a picture here of another one, and this one looks to me like a cat. And if you can see, it's on a large mountain. And if you stand far away from this one, I bet you can probably see it. But if you're close, you would just be seeing little lines and you wouldn't be able to make out what it is. You can see how small these people look compared to this huge drawing. That was very creative of them. Let's continue. Wouldn't you like to know why the Nazca made these lines? So would scientists, but they'll have to wait a while longer as science hasn't yet found the answer. There is no real evidence because there is so little left of the Nazca culture. So I think this is a great thing. If you can find out why the Nazca culture drew these pictures, then you can share it with us today in our live session, right? That could be a great discussion. Now, I would like you to go to page 114, page 114. You're going to go ahead and pause the video and complete that page. 
you're going to decide which words are contractions and which words are showing ownership, possessive nouns. So go ahead, pause the video, complete page 114. When you are finished, you come back to the video so we can check the answers together. If you're playing the video, that means you are finished. Make sure you're finished before you play the rest of this video. So the first one, we want to find the list word that our contraction using the word is. So the answer is hows, it has H-O-W apostrophe S, that means how is, and wheres, which means where is. So you should have hows and wheres. How is, where is, that's what it means. So next we're gonna write the list words so that our contractions using the word not. So that would be the word wouldn't, because it means would not, and the word hasn't, because that means has not. Now we're going to write the list words that are contraction using the words will. That will be she'll, which means she will, and they'll, which means they will. Now we're going to write the list words that is a contraction using the word are, and that would be we're, which means we are, we're, W-E apostrophe R-E, that's number seven word. Okay. Now write the list word that is a contraction using the word us, and that will be the word let's, because it means let us, let's. So at the bottom, we're going to write the list words that shows ownership, who it belongs to. That's going to be deserts, persons, sisters, bicycles, Arizonas, childs, aunts, cousins, Floridas, uncles, doctors, and seasons. Give yourself correct if you got them right. Great job. Excellent. Very good. And that brings us to the end of our spelling today.